US Vice President Joe Biden has arrived in Kiev for talks with Ukraine's interim government. The Sky reporter Katie Stallard has the latest for us. A lot of this is about a symbolic show of support. He is the most senior US politician to visit Ukraine since the crisis began. They are meant to be discussing the economy, energy security and constitutional reform. I think in reality they will be spending much of the time talking about how to respond to the situation here in the east of Ukraine where pro-Russian anti-government protesters remain in control of a number of buildings and from one of which buildings we had a press conference today from the man who has proclaimed himself the mayor of Slavyansk. Yesterday he appealed directly to Vladimir Putin to send peacekeeping troops. Today he said he has not yet had a response to that request but he did say something quite interesting. He denied that there are serving Russian military personnel in that town but he did say there are a number of veterans and not all of them from Russia. So he does appear to be admitting that there are at least Russian military veterans taking part in the operation in that town. Meanwhile we've heard from the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov who is insisting that attacks continue in Slavyansk, in Mariupol and across southeastern Ukraine. He says these attacks are aimed at provoking a civil war, that they show the government in Kiev, in Kiev can't or won't disarm extremists and nationalists, all of which he says is leading to more and more calls on Russia to save people from the lawlessness, his word, in this country, which he says is putting Russia in a very difficult situation. Now, none of that actually tallies with the situation we can see around us here, but all of which is nevertheless ratcheting up the rhetoric here and putting ever more pressure back on the government in Kiev.